Hello there, welcome back to uh, to uh, Vox Rennie unboxing and um, well today we're unboxing a classic collection Digimon card game and I'm showcasing on top uh, some of my uh, boyfriend's polls because I think they're, they're very awesome they are the alternative art Tentamon and Magna Angemon that can be uh, gotten in this booster display and as you can see if anyone who's been alive for more than 20 years like I have <laughs> Um, these are, these designs are based off of the classic Digimon card game that died back in the 90s. Uh, the one that was based on, uh, on, uh, what is now known as the Digimon Hyper Coliseum, which is a Japanese only variant of the Digimon card game, uh, the original one that's still running in Japan, alongside the, the 2020 reboot of the card game. Very interesting, um, <laughs> Uh, and if you're curious about how it goes, you can probably find it um, online, like on, uh, what's it called, um, on Tabletop Simulator and other places. But yeah, um, also the J-Wits, if, if you know who the J-Wits is, he has an entire video on Hyper Coliseum, so if you're curious about that. But yeah, they're based off of the uh, Hyper Coliseum cards, um, which had, an, had, had, had a butchered in English variant, which isn't the same. So... Uh, which is was the variant I grew up with, and they basically look like this: the same artwork, the same backgrounds, similar fonts with the with the name on the side, um, using um, these symbols here to to be like to refer to to um, vaccine, virus, and data. It's really kind of cool. So yeah, I really want to show these off, and they're really cool. But uh, let's put those aside for now and get into into the meat of it because we're, we're gonna open some boosters and normally what I do is that I go in between here and use the, the, the side of it to cut open the plastic except that the plastic on, on the Digimon card game is somehow thicker than the plastic on the Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh boosters. Either that or my nails has gotten weaker over time so it's always a pain. Um, boop. Let's see, can I? Boom, there we go. So now, got some open plastic. Um, ooh, getting this, getting all the way inside this, it's it's um, very exciting uh, to get in here. <laughs> okay, uh, here we are, let's open it. And let's open it right, like let, let us have it look like an actual display here. Boom, and also, this is uh, what we call a box tower. It's like a little promo card. I, uh, that that you get free with with a boot when you buy an entire booster display. This one is uh, the BTO uh, the BT2 uh, 065 Wargreymon, but as an alternate art, it has the ability that it has blocker and reboot. And blocker is like uh, what you use to block the incoming attacks from the opponent and reboot. Um, I don't know if you played Magic, you know what tap is. In this game is called unsuspend, and it's basically a way. Throwing your, your card sideways to indicate that you're used to card. This one can can uh, unsuspend uh, more frequently than, than usual because it can also do it in the opponent's turn, which means you can use it both to attack and block with, which is very good. You can attack with it, now it's used, then it then it uh, unsuspends during the opponent's phase, and then you can block their attack too. So that's like really cool. Uh, <laughs> generally, it's, it's a pretty decent card. Um, so yeah. But it's uh, not really related to any of these. The classic collection, which has some alternative arts, and like all of the artworks in this game, is like is like is the classic artworks from from that you also find at the Digimon Wikipedia page and stuff like that. They're old cut, uh, old art. As you can see here, it's like very much very nostal nostalgic looking. It's it's like the nostalgia pack, like all the nostalgia. Um, so let's let's see. Let's, let's open this. You can see here me going into it. And um, here first we get Gomaman, unplayed trash one GG Evolution card from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. That's that's pretty okay. I think I think that's fine. Garudaman, okay. Um the um the ultimate form of uh, of Bioran. It has an evolu it has a, an inherited skill, which means when you evolve it into let's say Phoenixmon, uh that Phoenixmon will ha will will have this skill. Once per turn, when this Digimon attacks, you gain more memory. Memories like mana in this game, so you get more resource you can use to play with. Which um, that's good. That's cool. That's cool. Um, 
Kuri Sariman uh, or Chrysalisman, as um, which sounds cooler, but uh, and less English. Um, it also has an inheritable skill, which is once per turn when one of your di- other Digimon with the same name as this Digimon is deleted. Unsuspend this Digimon, which means that if you have a shit ton of uh, Kuri Sarimans, um, get a lot of. It's actually really good with Di- with Diapamon because Diapamon likes to clone itself, like like in the movie. So um, yeah. Stingmon, this one can be evolved from both blue and green Digimon, so if you want to run an Imperial Run deck, that's pretty cool. It has piercing, which means it deals damage, even though it's it's uh, it's fighting other Digimon instead of dealing damage to your opponent directly. Um, and um, it has an Inheritable. When this Digimon is Imperial Run or have three in its traits, it gains piercing. So that's pretty cool. Salamon, I was about to call it Platmon, that's what it's called in Japan, but it's called Salamon in English. When attacking once between, if you have three or more security cards, draw one. That's its inheritable skill. And um, so far, we only had common cards. Just put that there. Um, Tapirmon. I had this one as a kid, and I fought this. Fun fact: I fought this. Or oh, fun story about mine. I I fought Tapirmon was was uh, Gatman's uh, rookie form because I I only saw saw the episodes sporadically on TV. So I didn't know um, what Gatamon's rookie form looked like. But in the Digimon card game, the Gatamon that, that uh, came out uh, back in, in, in the 90s said that it could evolve into Pyramon. So I thought this was this was it. <laughs> um, it has an Herald. Once per turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, draw one card. It's pretty cool. And then make Mega Dramon. Um, delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 less DP. It can evolve from... From both red and black Digimon, and while this Digimon has machine in in its trade, it gains security plus one. Cool. And it brings us to our first uncommon. That's a Lilyman. Uh, inheritable skill. Once per turn, when one of your opponent's Digimon becomes um, becomes suspended, this Digimon gains security plus one. Uh, for the turn. This Digimon checks one additional security, so that's pretty cool. Also, I can see that my hair just falls down into my end, my face so you can't see me probably, so let's put on some glasses, that helps with that. And uh, moving on, Edamon, Uncommon. Um, for each Digimon card with Edamon in this card, in, in your trash, this Digimon gets plus 1000. So it gets like stronger the more Edamons there are. Um, and the uh, Unleashing Digimon, one of your opponent's Digimon. Um, so yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, another uncommon, Garuduman. Uh, when attacking once between you may play one Matt Ishtar with the play cost of three or less from your hand without paying his memory cost. It's pretty cool too. And here's our first rare, and it's uh, Baptism by Fire. Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with six of DP or less. And blocker, so you can you can you can destroy an opponent's blocker. That's that's okay. Uh, I think there are better cards for this kind of thing, but at least it's a security card. And here we have another rare. Um, let's, let's do it like this so you can see all of it. Here we have another rare. Uh, Ice Wall. All of your opponent's Digimon gain, when attacking, lose two memory until the end of their next turn. That sounds interesting. Um, <laughs> that sounds very interesting. Um, that That's kind of annoying on the opponent. That means they can do less. Get into the second pack. What's in here? Um, and we open up with the Tensamon, which is like the regular uh, version of this one. Which still like, look at that. This is so much better. Like, oh, the nostalgia is just amazing. Uh, Tensamon, the next time one of your, it's an inheritable skill. When attacking, the next time. One of your Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon card with Insectoid or Ancient Insect in its trait. This turn reduce the memory cost of Digivolution by one. That's interesting. That could work with with Ancient Beetleman. Uh, I'd imagine once it comes out. Um, Keraman. Your turn for each Digimon you have in play with the same name as this Digimon. This Digimon gets plus 1000. Again, these are really good because they are supposed to combo with the Diapamon, which likes to clone itself. So Inheritable Skills that does that is... Very neat. Uh, and now it's Pyramon. We already know what this one does. We also already see the Stingmon. Here's x And it again evolves from both blue and green. So it's made from Imper- for Imperial Dramon decks. 
and it is um, it has jamming and um, inheritable if it's uh, if it evolves into a Perilmon or a free type Digimon, it still has jamming, which yeah, that's pretty neat. On play, Hagudamon, uh, you may trash one Digimon card with machine or cyborg in the straight uh, in your hand to draw two cards. That's like uh, draw power. That's generally good. Um, works with machine with machine run decks. Wizamon, um, retaliation, which is like when 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 you kill this one, it takes the opponent with it. It's it's very much like revenge kill kill ability, and it has the inheritable skill. All of your Digimon re retaliation gets rush. Oh my god! Everything just okay. So for those of you who don't know, well, in Digimon, uh, you can't you have the you have a type of summoning sickness, as it's called in uh, in Dual Masters of Magic. It just means that you can't attack with things you summon the turn you summon it, uh, or you can't attack with things on the turn you summon them, and that is to prevent someone from from over rumbling their opponent on the first turn. It's like a balancing issue, so that is, so things goes a little bit slower. But this rush is like. We're gonna ignore that. Fuck that. We're gonna we're gonna attack, and we have retaliation. That's like you can just like I don't know throw a demi demi man on on in play, and then just well uh, well I don't know if demi demi man has retaliation. But you can you can put a cheap retaliation card on on the field and just slam into the opponent's cards, no matter how strong they are, because the other one's gonna go with it. I mean, you can only attack on uh, suspended Digimon, not unsuspended, but. But still, that's wow. That, that's really cool. Also, that's like things with retaliation are hell to block against. So that's that's really cool. Um, Padaman, on play, reveal four cards uh, of your deck. Add one Digimon card with Angel, Archangel, or three Great Angels in the traits among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in order. A searcher, a pretty good searcher. I'll, I'll, I think that's pretty cool. So I'll, I'll take it. Greymon. Um, you may play one Taikamiya with cost, so that's like that's basically the Greymon version of of the Garuruman. For those of you who haven't watched the first anime um, or the reboot, these two are like the partners of the main character and his rival. So they have very similar effects, and they are like working off like one of them summons the rival, the other one summons Protag. But we already seen Lilymon. Here we have a Metal Greymon, which first appeared in uh, in the anime, the same episode they defeated Edamon. Um, and as I said, that's the first anime appearance, the first game appearance is from Digimon World 1, if I remember correctly. It might not be, I might be wrong about that. Um, and I don't know which one of them came out first, so... Um, it evolves from both Black and Red Digimon, which makes it slightly splashable. When attacking, when this Digimon attacks player, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP, so that, like, get rid of their small rookies. Inheritable, during your turn, while well, this Digimon has Machine or Dragonkin as its trade against Piercing. So it's like... It's like uh, if it becomes a machine Dramon or something like us or or a uh, War Greymon, it it basically deals damage even though it's beating up the opponent's Digimon. So that's pretty bad. Analog Youth. Um, so this is this is a uh, what are, what are they called? Um, an option. Oh, this is an, a tamer. The Analog Youth. That's weird. They called him Analog Youth. I just I just rem I just know him as Mameo. Uh, that's the name they they gave him in uh, in uh, Next Order. He is the protagonist from the original Digimon world, world, so that's like very nostalgic character, very well fitting in the classic collection. Really, um, unplay reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card from among them to your hand, so it's like it's a searcher. Sadly, it's a white card, so it only works if you have a white Digimon, and there's very few white Digimon. There's like the Apomon. And then there's uh, the system arms and stuff like that. So that it works with a few decks, but not that many. Um, when one of you are level five or higher, Digimon with the, oh, actually it technically works with all decks because a lot of the uh, like Omnimon is white, and so is uh, is stuff like Chaosmon, which which can be evolved for many things. But you need what am I talking about? It's not an optic card. It's a Tamer card. <laughs> Never mind what I'm saying. Tamers always work. Um, it's option cards that has this restriction. It's because it's because it's called Analog you, Youth. It does not sound like the name of a tamer. It, his name is Mameo. <laughs> okay, um, but he's a searcher. And um, when one of your level 5 or higher Digimon with Digivolution cards is deleted, you may suspend this tamer if you do a game one memory and hatch one Digi-Egg. Which is nice. They can give you a, a, a Digimon faster into play. Um, and... 
And also, the whole game one memory is is very power, uh, is generally very useful. You know, as I said, more more resource. So, I think this is a pretty decent card. I wonder how many it's going to end up using it. I think I might I might put it in my uh, what do you call it in my queue. I'm I have a, I have a Digimon queue. If people people are interested in that, just put it down below, and I'll probably do a video on it with with a complete deck list someday. Uh, if people seem interested, if people don't seem interested, then I might still do it <laughs> because because uh, I I'm really proud of my cube. But as it is right now, I, I have no plans to do a video on my cube. Um, and for those of you who don't know what a cube is, um, a cube is a is a trading card game uh, thing where you make like like a huge custom booster basically. And then you play with your friends with your custom booster instead instead of uh, pre-built decks. So everyone gets like random cards and then builds decks out of that. And the advantages of doing a cube over buying new packs every time is that you can reuse a cube, so it's not as expensive. And um, you can you can customize it so you know which cards are in it. For instance, um, for instance, I would never put this card in my cube, or I might I might, but but um, let's just take this one. I would never put this card in my queue. It, it, it's its strong point is that if you build a, a deck around Edamon, you can you can quickly get a lot of Edamon cards into your trash theoretically. Um, but that doesn't really work in 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 formats where where you uh, build with random cards, random boosters, and build decks out of that. Um, and the reason why it doesn't work that well is that you can't count on getting a lot of ra random Edamons. Like you have to be. Like I don't like Edamon, so I'm I'm tempted to say the most unlucky person on earth. But but I say you have to be the most lucky guy on earth to get Edamon, 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 Edamon uh, in in your random packs. Un unless someone built a cube exclusively of Edamon, please don't do that. That sounds really really dumb, and it doesn't sound fun. <laughs> um, so 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 stuff like this I remove. Uh, so so that that doesn't happen. You know you don't get a card that is basically useless unless you can play five. At, at least 10 more Edamon cards. Um, so that that's an advantage for, for customizing it because if we just draft it with these, um, play with these, some people get this card and people will be like, well, I guess it's it's a 10,000 beat stack. And that's not fun, that's not fun. So there are some advantages to that. Um, want to know more about cubes? I I recommended Jay Wiz again. He did a video on cubes in Pokemon specifically. And it's very comprehensive to the concept of cube. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it may not be as accurate for, for how you should build a Digimon Cube, but it's, it's pretty cool. Um, this tier is a Devimon, um, and it has the inheritable skill on deletion. Return one purple Digimon from your trash to your hand. That's pretty cool. Bring, bring things back to life. That's what the purple is all about. Ikakumon! On your turn, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with no Digivolution cards. That's cool. Normally you can only attack suspended Digimon, as I said earlier. Well, unsuspended. Yeah, suspended. So now you can with this one you can also attack uh, unsuspended, which is pretty cool because it has six thousand power, which is enough that it can take care of all the small rookies, um, even some champions. So if they are not, if they don't attack with them, you can be like, uh, because they want to save the rook, evolve them up for later. You can just be like, Ikakuman smack. So that that that's pretty cool. Um, um, someone out there who is very competitive and really into meta might be cringing at me seeing that, being like, that sounds cool, that sounds useful, <laughs> and maybe the card is trash. I don't know anything about the meta, I am not playing competitively. As I said, I, I make cubes. Um, so I, I knew, I, I'm, I'm good at card games, I've been playing card games for, for like 20 years of my life. Uh, so, I, so I know the basics of, of how to, to form a strategy and how, how combos and interconnect activity, um, you know, um, how um, chaining loops, all, 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 all that good stuff. I know how, how it works on a theoretical level, but if you aren't actively part of the competitive scene, or, or at least part of some sort of uh, casual tournament scene, uh, you know, you'll all be well worse than what actually works because you kind of have to test it in the wild. Theory and practice are two very different things. So when I think, you know, look at it and say, that's cool. It can take care of a lot of rookies, but maybe that doesn't matter because may maybe rookie rush, where people just smack a bunch of rookies and kill you fast. Maybe that goes too fast. Maybe slow slow decks where where they build up to mega, where like as I said, you can take out the rookies before they start building up. Maybe uh, 
maybe it's not that reliable. You can have max of 40 Kakumans in your deck. Maybe you don't draw it often enough for it to really stop those things. So on and so forth. I, I, I can't sit here because I'm, I'm not sitting here with the mathematical statistics, nor have I, have I the practical experience for it. So there might be some, some competitive players out there who cringe me being like, that sounds good. And it might not be, but again, what is, what is interesting in theory and what works in practice, two very different things. And I only know, I only know my theory. Uh, I can only make my theory, and also, I have. I don't know what these cats do. Um, I'm a, I'm seeing a lot of these for the, well, not quite for the first time. I've been skimming them before, but I but I don't know what they do. I'm reading them up, and I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting, as as you hear. So, um, so um, how to put it? Um, so I'm I'm making a lot of my statements based off my first impression of the card. Uh, as I said, not seeing it in action. So. We'll see. I, I might put something like this Kakamon into my cube because I think it sounds interesting. But, but who knows? Who knows? Elegmon, inherit skill, unleash, and one of your opponent's Digimon gains security plus minus one for the turn. So if Elegmon dies, basically, um, it does so the opponent can do less damage, which kind of cool. I'm not sure how to make that work because oh well, it's not not when Elegmon is inheritable. So when whatever Elegmon evolves into dies. Um, might if if you evolve it into a blocker, but otherwise I'm not I'm not sure um, how you're supposed to um, use this because there's not many ways to self kill your 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 cards in yellow. That's more it's, it's more of a purple thing to be honest uh, of of the uh, suicide effects. I'm not sure what the plan with this one is. It sounds interesting. Andromon, look at that, it's Andromon. Um, when de-devolving, you may reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one level six card with machine and its trait among them to your hand. So it's like Searcher. Trash the remaining cards. During your opponent's turn, this is an inherited. While this Digimon has machine, it gains blocker. That's cool. Um, so like, if it evolves into machine Digimon, it will have blocker. And also, you can search for machine Digimon with it. So that's really cool. Yeah, you can both search machine Digimon and you, you can give it blocker. That That's pretty neat. This, this is a cool card. I think, like, like... Uh, even without knowing the meta or anything, I think that this one is probably going to be played just a little bit. At least if, any, if anyone wants to make a machine run deck, this is going to be played. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. I'm assuming machine to run is machine. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> if machine to run is not machine, then there's probably a different mach uh, black machine card that, that this can work with well. Or maybe there's a red machine card that can evolve from black cards and that... That combos off. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Togemon! Uh, inherited once per turn. When one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gets plus 2,000. Awesome! That works really well in green because they have a lot of spin. Um, and here we have Metal Tyrannomon. I'm so happy to get more Tyrannomon support in general. Tyrannomon seems to have a lot of potential. I really like the, the Taika uh, Tema card. So, um, yeah. When Digival and you may reveal top three cards with deck and add one level six with machine in its trade among so that, so this one is probably meant to play into machine man as well. Uh, while this Digimon has machine in its trade against reboot. So yeah, it's definitely meant meant for um machine run too bad it that means it doesn't work that well with the Taika card, but but yeah, it's common. Another common Sudoman! Doesn't like the good reliability ultimate. It's uh, the ultimate form of Gomamon, the first card we opened. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> and we also got. We also just talked a, a, a lot about Ikakumon here, here earlier. So like, Gomamon opened it, and then we start. Then then, then I ended up talking a, a, a lot on, on Ikakumon, and here we are on Sudoman. Um, now now I'm thinking I kind of want us to draw Whitemon. I don't know if there's a Whitemon in the set, but but that would complete it. Com complete it. Um, when did you want to trust one Digi Evolution card from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon? That's good because that's uh, that's taking away resources from your opponents. From your opponent, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with no Digi Evolution card. So that's like that's again like like a Kakamon. Um, like it can attack the the unsuspended cards only if they have no Digi Evolution. I think it was the same with the Kakamon. Uh, I think I forgot that somewhere down my ramble. So that's also to think about. Maybe people don't have uh have Digimon without Digivolution that often. Although you can force that in blue. Blue has a lot of cards that can force that. Um, that sounds interesting. I kind of like this. Um, might end up in my cube. Uh, <laughs> um, Agumon, the, the, uh, the OG. 
One of the team will top three caps deck add one team and one Digimon. With Archimon in his card name from among them, place the remaining cards in front of the deck. So this one can search for a team, that's pretty good. Uh, you can also search for an Archimon, but I'm thinking in terms of cube. So, you know, uh, if the fact that it can search for, that it can search for any team, no matter color, means that this has potential in cube. Uh, <laughs> it's an uncommon, that makes sense. It's kind of a cool ability. We already seen what Paramount does, we already seen what Greymon does, but here we have Fight for Your Pride! Um, oh, this this general just this looks really amazing. Like this uh, checkered pa pattern background artwork, which is straight out from the original card game. I think this artwork was actually taken from the original card game. It might also, the card might also have been call, called Fight for Your Pride originally, I don't know. And I can see Edamon here say, Umai, which, uh, which means delicious, he likes his blood. <laughs> Play one purple level 4 Digimon card from your trash without paying its cost. So trash is like where all your dead cards are, so just like revive one card. Uh, one champion, level 4 is champion. Then if you have a Digimon with Myotismon in, in its name, one of your Digimon gains blocker until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you can you can like you can revive a card and then you can give a different card blocker if you if you're if you're basically playing a Myotismon deck. And there's a lot of Myotismon cards, so I think that this one has potential. And uh Ultimate Connection! You may trash one level 5 Digimon with Cyborg in its uh, trait in your hand to gain two memory and draw one card. So, like, that is, um, that's minus two for plus one, and then, um, so that's minus one uh, hand advantage in exchange for two, for, for two resource. That's not bad. That's not bad, and it's also really cheap. This is a good card. Definitely going into cube. I actually, actually, oh, you also have to trash one of your level 5. Oh, no, no, wait, that's from your hand, that's from your hand. Right. I'm being silly, I'm being silly. Um, this is really myself confusing. This isn't, what, for only one cost? That's, that's pretty cool. Like, option cards are the best when they, when they are, like, uh, low cost, or something like this, 4 and 1. It's, except purple, I like, really like, uh, 7 cost, option cards, for some reason. Um, yeah, um, let's get in here. Here. And Garudamon, which we already seen. Demi Demimon. Oh, it does have retaliation. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but earlier today I was like, uh, that means that you can you can pick Demi Demi. I don't I don't know if that ever retaliation, but it does, it does, it has retaliation. Your turn, while you don't have Digimon with Myotismon in na name and play, this Digimon can't attack your opponent. So th this one only works if you have Myotismon Mon in play. Um so I'm not sure this one is good for cube, but we'll see. We already looked at Tim's one. Metal Mame Man. You may reveal the top three cards with deck. Add one level six card with machine and trade from your hand to your hand and trash the remaining cards. So you can search for So it's a searcher. Searchers are generally good. And uh, as an inheritable, if your Digimon is machine and it's trade, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with play cost five or less. So that's like when attacking, you just destroy champions and rookies. That's that. That's very fitting for if it if if it's really meant for machine drama. I think it's meant for machine drama. Go, Maman. Hakuraman. Palman. So spend one of your opponent's Digimon with five thousand or less DP, and it's Undeletion. Again, I'm not so sure about Undeletion effects that aren't in purple. I mean, you can you can you can just um like I could um what's it called um. Uh, I could Leroy Jenkins this thing in into the opponent's uh, security and it might die, but other than that, and I'm not sure I want to Leroy Jenkins um, a Palmon. <laughs> Lady Demon, when Digimon, you may trash the top three cards of your deck. Once per turn, when you play a Digimon from your trash, gain one memory. Cool. Birdramon! When this Digimon attacks a player, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with three pounds less DP. That is an inheritable skill. Um. Here's an Edamon. Um, on your turn, when this Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon card with Edamon in its card name, uh, reduce the memory cost uh, of the Digivolution by one. So this one makes it cheaper to evolve into Metal Edamon. Um, and as an inheritor, while this Digimon has Edamon in its name, it gets jamming. So if you evolve this into meta, Metal Edamon, it, all, it also gets jamming. And for those of you who don't know jamming, because I didn't explain it when we got x Mon, is that basically that, um, that it... Um, when you attack the opponents directly, you go into the security cards, and if the cards has like high stats, there's a risk that your Digimon dies. But if it has jamming, 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's jamming, it's just smack. Um, it, it always survives. A V-Man! Woo! I like V-Man. Uh, when this Digimon becomes... Um, it's an inheritable. Once between when this Digimon becomes unspinned during your main phase, gain a memory. That's pretty... That's dope. That's dope. Yes! 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 <laughs> I got one of the alternate arts. I really wanted one. Oh, I got one. It's Mega Kabuterimon. It's one of the OG8 uh, Digitestance Digimon. And Ultimate Tentamon. It almost... Look at them side by side. Oh, that is awesome. Um, so, um, when attacking this Digimon can Digivolve into a Digimon card with Insectoid or Ancient Insect in its traits from your hand with no Digivolution cost. I see potential with Ancient Beetlemon. I see... I hope Ancient... I'm expecting Ancient Be Beetlemon to be Ancient Insect. I see so much potential here. Uh, <laughs> I, I might do this. I might do this. Um, I'm thinking like uh, JP... Uh, maybe, yeah, probably JP, and then, then, um, then Beetleman, or, or, um, or not, not Beetleman, what, what is it called? It's called, um, something Capoterimon, I think, Beetle Cap, I, I don't, I don't know, Rhino Capoterimon, well, I don't remember, it, it's one, it's one of the different tier, tier spirit evolutions, so go into that, go into this, ancient, that could, that, that could work. Um, those cards have not come out yet, by the way, I've seen them. As I said, it's one of those things where, where as I said, I do look stuff up, but I can't remember by the, t by the time the cards come out. So it's like vague memories. As I said, this, this is very much like, ooh, I, I don't remember what that is. So it's kind of like I'm seeing it for the first time, but not really. <laughs> as I said earlier, it's, as I said, it's, it's hard to explain, but, but it is basically my, my first in uh, impressions kind of deal uh, regards like if you ask me what the JP card does it's like I think it's it's a tamer with an inheritable skill I think that's kind of like the, the deal with with the frontier cards <laughs> I have no idea what the inheritable skill is so this is like my, my point like I may have skimmed it but I don't really know and I, honestly it's because when I, when I look forward to, to new releases I'm going to be very very um, honest about this is that um, I'm more interested in which characters comes out and which Digimon comes out as, as a long time fan of the franchise than I am about the card game because I'm not competitive about the card game and I only really do my cube and and then I, I, I can wait for them to come out for real to really look at the skills. Um, so yeah, when attacking this Digimon, Digimon oh, right, uh, so I mean, it's inheritable. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, gain one memory. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's my first alternate art, so it goes, goes down here, um, it goes over here, so you guys can see it on the side there, it's very awesome. Let's get into the next one. So many boosters. Um, here's a wisdom mom, you already seen wisdom mom, but also I need something to drink. Stay hydrated, folks. Stay hydrated. Um, but yeah, Wizardman, Chrysalisman, Angiaman. <laughs> when attacking, it's inheritable. Again, when attacking once per turn, if you have three or more security cards, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP until the end of turn. The next turn. And the thing about yellow, yellow is, is like the tangy, tangy control deck. It, it, it likes to ha have a lot of security cards and protect them. So uh, this, this has potential. This, um, it make it makes it like a seven, a uh, relatively cheap seven. Uh, or oh, well, but, well, no, no, it's doesn't. It's an inheritable, but it it can bo boost the power of of so, some uh, strong uh, mega cards in in yellow. Maybe maybe Crusademon. I don't I don't know if if Crusademon needs to beat over something that is that is one k that that is on its same level as itself or something like that. But if it does, then this this can make the difference. Um. Definitely. Uh, or you can combine with other inheritable skills that also makes Crusademon stronger if you want to make it really big. I don't know. As I said, I'm not playing playing in the meta, so I don't know. I know Crusademon is is a factor in the meta. I don't know how much. Um, <laughs> also, I don't remember what Crusademon does either. <laughs> I have it in my cube. I should know. Uh, Gatron has blocker. This Digimon can't attack. 
Um, so it's it's a cheap blocker. It can't attack, but that that's fine trade up for having a strong blocker. Um, and uh, as an inheritable, when you attack, you may trash one Digimon card with Machine Cyborg in his trade to draw two cards. That's awesome. You can have it as a blocker stand there there in early game in the early turns. Be like you you don't dare attack it, then evolve it into something better, and then take advantage of the draw power. That is uh, that's pretty cool. Stingmon, Tapiamon, Biamon. As an inheritable, when attacking once per turn, when this Digimon attacks a player, draw a card. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Um, I like I, I like draw powers. Generally, when something says you can draw a card, I'm like yes, I get more hand advantage. Um, and that might be because I used to be a Vanguard player. In Vanguard, I hand advantage is freaking everything. Like in Yu-Gi-Oh, hand advantage is also just like a lot, a lot. But but um, but in other games, hand advantage isn't as big a deal. But it is in Yu-Gi-Oh and Vanguard, especially. Uh, Kabuterimon. This Digimon can devolve into a Digimon card with Insectoid in its traits in your hand for its Digivolution cost. Wow. Oh, well, when attacking, so, after, so when it's attacking, it evolves. I'm not sure what the application... Why wouldn't you just evolve it and then attack? I'm not I'm not sure. Um, there might be some ap applications for this. I, I need to... I need to t I'm probably going to ask uh, the internet uh, what, what, is th what is up with this guy. What, what do you want to do with him? Um, Gatomon! Inheritable, when attacking once per turn, if you have three or more security cards, one of your opponent's demon gets minus two thousand. Okay, so this is this... Uh, <laughs> this is kind, 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 of, kind of like that Angemon. It's similar, they have similar abilities. One gives you plus, the other one gets the opponent minus. Sadly, you can't get both of them, because they're both champion level, unless you're doing a, um, a DNA devolution, or Jokeress, as I prefer to call it. Um, but um, I'm not sure if there is a Jokeress that does two yellow cards yet. Myotisman! When does Digimon Digivolve into Digimon with... With Myotisman in its name? From your hand, reduce its memory cost by one. Uh, the, that's pretty cool. Uh, cheaper Myotisman cards. Uh, and with, uh, as an inheritable on your turn, while this Digimon has Myotisman in this name, all your Digimon with Retaliation can also attack your opponents on Suspended. I do not want to play against the Retaliation Myotisman deck. Like, with, with all the cards that has come out, out this set? Nope, 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 nope! <laughs> okay, uh, Seraphimon. Recovery plus one, that, that gives you more security. As I said, uh, they like to be, be bulky and, and do that, the yellow cards. So when you do well, you get plus one security, and during your opponent's turn, uh, while this Digimon is suspended, all of your security Digimon gets plus 5,000, which means when the opponent hits into your security, they're likely to die. They're likely to die. Uh, so that's cool. This is a, a rare card only. Wow, it's pretty cool. Diablomon! Okay, so this is a Diablomon. At the end of battle, uh, this is security. At the end, so if, if you see this one in your security, um... At the end of the battle, you may play one Diablomon token without paying its cost. That's cool. Uh, Diablomon likes to clone itself. That's what tokens are. That's Diablomon clones. On uh, your opponent's turn, all your Diablomon gets... So we get this straight. We have a deck that likes to clone Diablomon. So we just keep making more and more Diablomon. And now, there's a new Diablomon that makes all the Diablomon clones... Blockers. So now you have a shit ton of mega level Digimon you can hit with, and they can all... <laughs> I don't know, man. This this, this sound this sounds uh, this sounds really OP. And I I know that Ultra Digimon is like the real life of the party, but this sounds really OP. <laughs> I don't know if this is like <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here. Um, it's a it's a super rare. You may think I might not be qualified to make a cube uh, when I don't play play uh, the meta, the competitive meta. But cube is a very different format, so I so I need to think of things very differently than you have to do in competitivity. And I will say my cube works. I tested it, and it seems like everyone had a great time, and and it seems that like the the base of it works. It's 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 it's. Um, I'm still build, building on it. There isn't that much. Uh, what's called. There's much frame of reference for Cube in Digimon at the moment because there's not that many people who have done it. 
So I'm, I'm very much in deep water trying to figure out how to do everything myself and how to balance it and stuff like that. But but I'm, I'm doing my best and I'm doing okay, I think. Draw one card when you Digivolve. That's a plus card advantage because you get to draw cards just from Digivolve. So that's so that's uh, that's straight up card advantage. Uh, inheritable when it's attacking what said if you have eight or more cards in your hand, gain one memory. Pretty cool. Um and then we have Devimon, Megatramon, Electron, the Lumon, Lilimon. This is my third Lilimon, that's my second level. Yeah, second Lilimon and our second um metal Greymon. So let's get here and here. Andromon, Tokemon, Takamon, Demimon, Kurisan, Limon, um, Yuan, Akumon, and something new! Dino Beamon! And this is like one of my favorite Digimon. Um, like, Stigma, the Stigma line in general, I really love it. I love Stigma. <laughs> Stigma is awesome! Um, also, I love Stigma. <laughs> um, if a Digimon a uh, card with free, it's when it's Digimon is in its traits is in this Digimon Digivolution cards. So spend one of your opponent's Digimon with five thousand less. Also this one can evolve from both green and blue, so it works with Imperial Digimon decks. It's pretty cool, you can suspend your opponent's Digimon uh, when you evolve it. If you evolve it from X Digimon or or uh, or uh, Stigmon, this of course of course then um then it will get the effect uh because they're both free. Um, inheritable skill, when one of your Digimon with Imperial Digimon in its name deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, you gain one memory. That's pretty dope. If you're playing uh, Imperial Digimon decks. Gabamon! Once per turn, inheritable. Reveal the top three cards of your deck when attacking. Add one single card with and one Ga Gabamon. Uh, place the main. So that's like, again, same ability. The rival and the protagonist cards being similar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tyrannomon. For Christmas Tyrannomon decks! <laughs> when Digivolving, if you don't have a Tiger, it's, it's green and red, that's why I'm saying Christmas Tyrannomon. If you have a Tiger in play, you may play one. If you don't have a Tiger in play, you may play one from your hand without paying its memory cost. This demon is also treated as green. While, while this demon has Tyrannomon in its name, it gets plus 2000. That's cool. And here we have an Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode! Awesome! When Digivolving, it also evolves from both green and blue, as you can see. Which means you can evolve from both kind of Beamon and Peltramon, which makes sense. If a Digimon card with free in its trade is in this Digimon Devolution card, unsuspend this Digimon and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. For each color in this Digimon Devolution card, it gets plus 1000 points. So that's that makes it a 12 power. It's a dragon mode. I'm gonna put it over here because it's, it's super rare. Here we go. Uh, already seen these. Right. Boltmon, an uncommon we have not seen yet. Actually, is this okay, one is not an uncommon? Uh, it has reboot, so it it it, it uh, reboots during the opponent's turn. Uh, when Digivolving, you can Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon by one. That's pretty cool. Um, not sure if this is an is that great a card? Like it's, I think it's cool for Pauper. If you don't know what a power format that that's when you only use common and uncommon cards to, to create decks. I think this could be a really powerful in pauper formats. <laughs> um, I, I I like I like uh, creative formats a lot in, in in card games. I know that the Digimon game has not been long, around long enough for a lot of formats to develop, but try pauper and try doing this guy. He, he might he might uh, smash it. <laughs> um, when Digivolve evolving, this is a Magnetron. You may trash the top card of your security stack to unsuspend the demon. So you can sacrifice some of your, your security, and because this yellow is a tanky deck, that's usually not a problem. Uh, and then you can basically um, so basically you can attack with uh, with your angel woman, and then give yourself a, a damage to evolve it into this one. Oh well, you can evolve it into this one, give yourself damage, and then this one can attack too. So you get like an extra attack out of the same demon. That's pretty cool. When attacking once per turn, if you have three or fewer security cards, recovery plus one. So it's not even a sacrifice. It's like it's like you're like I'm removing one, and then I'm attacking again, and then I get one back. That's 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 kind of cool. 
Um, Pikeman. Ooh, this guy. This guy was a great antagonist. Uh, one of the Dark Masters back in the original. Unplay delete one of your opponents unsuspended level 4 or lower Digimon. So just unplay destroy something. Your turn, once per turn, when one of your opponents Digimon is deleted, draw one card. So you you play it, you smash something, you draw a card. That's cool. Um, and you can get more draw, draw out of it later. Mameo, again. An Infirmon. Once per turn, uh, during your opponent's turn, when opponent's Digimon Digimon into level 5 or higher, you get one memory. This is really powerful because the thing is, uh, you and your opponent shares memory, which is, as I said, it's a mana resource. What you have in minus, they have in plus, and what they have in plus, you have in minus. So if, um, and if you ever go into minus, it switches turns. Let's say I start with three. Um, you usually start with the with with zero, um, with zero uh, memory. Then I play. Let's say I play Plotman, it costs three. Then I'm in minus three, and then it's the opponent's turn, right? Then if I have this one out, it's the opponent's turn, I'm in minus three because I just played Plotman. Then if they play um moment here. If they play if they did evolve into Pipeman, which when you did evolve Pipeman, you see here, it costs three. So they're in zero, they're not minus, then zero. Um so so it's still that turn. This one says I get plus one. Which means they go into minus one, and then I get the turn back. That that has potential to be very powerful. That's cool. I like it. I like it. I don't know if you followed that at all. Um, I think I tried to explain it uh, for for um, even for people who don't know card games at all. Uh, I'm trying my best, but yeah. Um, well, yeah, this this is a cool card. I like it. I like it very much. Um, oh, it also has an inheritable. All your other Digimon with the same name as this Digimon gets plus So that's again feeding into that uh, Diablomon cloning strap. <laughs> the fun thing about, about Diablomon cloning is that it operates kind of like a, a computer virus, which is like exactly what it was what they were going for when they did our, our war game. Which if you haven't watched our war game, you might have watched Summer Wars. That's basically that's basically a better version of the same movie. It's the same director who took the ideas from this Digimon movie and made it into a non-Digimon movie because he had because he didn't get I don't know I think he, he was dissatisfied with the original and wanted to make make a better version, but then he did it without Digimon. It's <laughs> um, almost as fantastic. Um, you have a lot of cards we've already seen. Going into your account, Pleshiomon. Um, your turn was to when one of your D opponent's Digivolution cards are trashed, go to cards. So when I said blue likes to trash your opponent's Digivolution cards. Your turn, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with no Digivolution card. So this is a mecha that has the same ability as Sudoman and Ikakuman. And I think this is meant to be the mecha for Gomamon uh, in this set. And the thing about Gomamon is that it has two mechas, Wikemon and Pressiomon. I said I want a Wikemon, I can, I, I take Pressiomon. <laughs> Um, uh, it's it's complicated because Wikeman is actually intended to be the uh, mega form of Shakuman, if I remember correctly. But it, it's just a better fit for Sudoman. Like both Pleshimon and 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 the Wikeman makes sense. Pleshimon makes a lot of sense as Gumamon's mega, and I can see how it evolves from Kakuman. Sudoman being more more Viking like feels like it should go naturally into Wikeman, so they both make a lot of sense. Actually, the fandom is very, <laughs> it's very. Divided on whether or not Gumamon should be Vikeman or Pleshimon. Um Originally, it was meant to be Pleshimon, but I think they changed it to Vikeman later. As I said, Vikeman was meant to be Shakuman's uh, Mega at some point. And it's just, yeah, it's it's complicated. It's nonsense. Uh, it, 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 behind the scenes stuff with Digimon is always convoluted. Okay, um, Phoenix Mon, security plus one when this Digimon attacks a player, draw two cards. Pretty cool. I like it. Simple to the point, but cool. Rosemon! This Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. Okay? When attacked, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Nice! So you can suspend more and get more power. Uh, Ogamon! Um, when attacking, you trash one card in your hand so that this Digimon gains security plus one for the turn. So you, you sacrifice a card in your hand to deal more damage. That makes sense. Inherited skill, you may trash one card in your hand so have this Digimon get plus two. DP, so it, it uh, makes, makes it strong. We already seen this. We already seen this. Um, I said, 
But we got the alternative art. Look at that. It is awesome. It is better. It is great. I love it. It's, it is beautiful. And I love it. Okay. Um, so the next one. Boop. Okay. Uh, getting in here. Getting down here. And there we go. Gomemon, Palamon, Andromon, Devimon, Megaromon, Tokemon, Kakamon, Paramon. Paramon is an uncommon. Greymon, Garurumon, Mameo. Okay, so like, Gomemon opened this video. I started rambling on Ikakamon. I called it out on Sudamon. I said I want a Vikemon, then Pleshimon popped out on, out on me. And now, now we're getting a tentative art Gomemon. <laughs> It's like, it's like, um, it's almost like, like, the, it's almost like the, the boosters are trying to tell me something. Maybe, I once joked that you could make an entire deck out of Gomamon because of the way that this game uh, is spacing, uh, it's, uh, it's how many copies of a card you can have, not based on the name, but based on the set number. So if you read it, you can have an entire deck of Gomamon, so as long as they're from different sets, or have different set numbers. Um, maybe I should just... Make a Gomamon deck? <laughs> it really feels like this was just trying to tell me something, but also Gomamon is awesome. I, 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 I gladly take it. I'll turn it about Gomamon, look at that. I'll turn it about Gomamon. Beautiful. This here? So goes in my cube. So goes into my cube, I swear. Like, I, I normally don't care for alternate art, they're usually just more expensive versions of cards I already, I already like. Um, so that, that's, but the fact that these are so nostalgia inducing, oh, I, I love them, I love them. But yeah, um, let's get in here. Let's get in here. Elekmon, Xremon, Stingmon, Metal, Tranamon, Goo, Wissamon. Phoenixmon, Dino Beamon, Boltmon, win rate 60%. This is a white object card, as I said, as I said before when I was looking at the white tamer. White object cards can only be played if you have a white tamer or a white Digimon. So not all decks can play them. Or if you're ready, all decks can play them if you take, it, take in Mamio. But also consistency. You need, you need to draw a white card to play to play this one. Uh, another white card to play this one first. So, um... So yeah, um, if you have a team on play, you may use the subject card without meeting its color requirement. Forget what I just said! <laughs> Forget what I just said. Um, if you have a tamer in play, this one is any color. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, oh, well, not that it's taking any color, but it, it doesn't have a color requirement. Okay. I mean, the next time your Digimon Digivolves this turn, you may trash one Digimon card in your hand of the same color as the Digivolving Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digimon by... Okay, this card is insane. This, this goes directly into the cube. Like, this card is amazing. Cheaper Digivolutions in any color? Like, now now we can... Now, now we can... Uh, now put, we can compete with green for cheap evolution! <laughs> oh, this is... Um... <laughs> Wow, um, going in here, oh wait, this, this video is already an hour long, wow, um, yeah, so here, uh, that's the comments, that's the uncommons, that's the rare, and you were on, okay, and this is super rare, ooh, when attacking, if you have three or more security cards, one of your opponent's Digimon, and all your opponent's security Digimon gets minus 3,000. Awesome, that's really good. Um, that makes it uh, a lot easier to get through the opponent's security. This is an amazing card. Uh, just looking at that, like, like generally, uh, yellow is not that offensive. Uh, it's more control. So having something that can that can direct directly affect the opponent's security cards like that, that's that that's awesome. Um, inheritable, your turn. What's the turn when the card is added into your security stack? One of your opponent's teachmen gets minus. So so that's that combos really well. Um, with them, um, where are you? Where are you? You are, you are down here. Um, with Magnetroman here, so you, you you attack with this one first. You 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 fuck up the opponent's uh, field by by um, by um, destroying their power levels by making everything weaker. You evolve it. You make it attack again, and 
when you're attacking with Magnamon, you get a security pack. When you get a security pack, your opponent gets weaker. Again, this combo, pretty tight. I mean, they're built for each other. Like, Anti Woman becomes um in the anime, so they so because they're clearly built for each other. But I like it, I like it, I like it. It's a combo. <laughs> Okay, can I can I get these out? Do you want to get out? So here are a few common cards we've always seen, and here are some common cards we've already seen. And Skull Grave and Red Purple, Red Purple, everybody. Security plus one. Uh, that means it deals two damage when it attacks. End of attack. You need this demon, so you you play it. You attack. You destroy two cards, and then it goes away. Uh, that's a very fitting thing. It, it, like this class collection has seems to have a lot of references to the anime. In some way or another, Skull Cream was was around for a very short time, and then it became Aquaman, <gasps> Aquaman again, or Korriban, one of the two uh, in the anime, because uh, it was it was a corrupt Digivolution, and um, and it went haywire, and it went berserk, and then it disappeared, became an Aquaman. On on the reason you may play Aquaman from your trash suspended without paying a very good. See, that's one of the what I just said, <laughs> and then it, then it became Aquaman. It, it came out, it went berserk. Smash two damage, um, and then it became Agman. <laughs> it's it's right there. This like like whether or not this is this this is competitive or, or a good effect or not, I don't care because it's so on point for the anime that I think it's beautiful. It's like this entire card is just just an anime episode reference. I love it. It's amazing. Um, Leomon security. If it's in the security at the end of battle, if you have three of your security cards, recovery plus one. So when when Leomon dies. <laughs> You get more security. Wonderful. <laughs> um, here. Let's get in here. We have a few common cards we've already seen. Nothing new. We have some commons. Nothing new. Um, and nothing new at the rares. So let's get in here. A lot of common, um, some uncommons that we already seen, a rare we already seen, and a super rare we have not seen yet. Okay, Metal Ruman. Cool. Uh, gain, when did you well gain one memory for every four cards in your hand? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, um, there are some blue blue decks that really likes to have a lot of cards in their hands, so this has potential. It definitely has. To. Also, I am noticing. But I'm not seated quite as tall as normally, so that's like, I hate when the chair falls down like that, uh, or collapses like that, but yeah. Uh, some some blue cards are all about, about draw power, um, so that, that has potential. When attacking, if you have 8 or more cards in your hand, and a tamer in play, return one of your opponent's Digimon with an undeletion effect to the bottom of its owner's deck, threshold to the illusion comes back. So that's like anti-undeletion. There's a lot of... Things that, that does things when they get deleted, so you can instead of being like, "Huh, you're not getting your effect because I'm saving to the bottom." That's that's pretty neat. All right. I wonder if that was my last super rare. I hope not. Also, we gotten two alternative arts so far. I kind of want to go for a third one. Excuse me. I don't know if it's possible to get free in a booster, but I kind of hope so. Um, let's see here. Common, and then a few uncommons. The Skull Greymon, that was a cool reference, the Ice Ball, we already seen that. Let's get one more. Um, Pomon, Gabudamon, Angemon, uh, Wakarudamon, Tentamon, Simon, uh, Sudamon, Pikemon, Pikemon, Dino Beamon, Baptism, Providers was a third of those. So, a third or fourth of those? It's like. That's a lot of the same rare, like, like that's a lot. And uh, that's almost a playset, actually. <laughs> um, feels a little bit much to get that many, but um, what do I know? Feels, feels nuts. Um, Myotismon, Boltmon, Kuagamon. Um, start of your turn, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 less DP. I feel like, I feel like there already was a Kuagamon that did something, but that was, was that an unplay effect? I think that might have been an unplay effect. Uh, as an inheritable, when this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, one of your opponent's Digimon, opponent's suspended Digimon doesn't unsuspend during the next unsuspend phase. Ooh. Like, I love how, how, how bug type Digimon in, in, um, 
<laughs> in this kind of game, basically works like Mega Colony does in Vanguard. That's like, <laughs> I find that hilarious. You got the machine a lot. Okay, and it is machine. It is machines. We can't search it with all the others. You can evolve from both black and red. That's cool. Um, on play, you may place up to five red and all black cards with cyber in their traits and different card numbers from your hand or trash in the Digimon Digivolution cards. Hand and or trash in this Digimon Digivolution cards. So gain one memory for each card placed. That's cool. All turns, this Digimon DB can't be reduced. All turns, when this Digimon would be deleted, you may trash two level 5 Digimon cards in this Digimon Digivolution instead to prevent it from being deleted. That's wild. This thing is wild. It's a secret rare. We got a secret rare, people. That is, uh, that's pretty epic. Um, I think there's only one secret rare in the classic collection. So that might be all the secret rares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, you when your opponent has uh, has uh, one or more memory, which means that you can attack. You can get one final attack in, uh, even when you go into minus a memory, which is kind of cool. Uh, when attacking with this Digimon, attacks a player. If you have a team on play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with blocker. That's great. Uh, if you have a team on, you can you can get rid of something that blocks. That's that's great. That's fantastic. And also that's the card on the front, except it's not the um it's not the alternative art with the, the classic background. Here, and all the way in here. Okay. There we go. Hakuruman, Tim, Yellowman, and uh, there's some comments. Another emergency shutdown program and an ultimate connection. Okay. Um, here, here. Okay. Sandyman, Wizardman, do 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 do. Here we have three uncommons, another Weemon, and another Quagmon. We have three of these Weemons. Um, okay. Let's get in here. That's like, how many do we have left? There's three booster packs left. Let's let's go for one last high rare, shall we? See if we can't get one last high rare. And let one of them be, be an alternative art. Please give me an alternative art. I so want it. Um, uh, okay, another high rare. There was one more. Uh, Venom Mayotisman. It has Retaliate. Uh, when attacking once a turn, you may play one purple level 4 lower Digimon. Would Retaliate from your trash. You can revive Digimon basically. Um, <laughs> and uh, and um, and Wizardman. Um, without paying its memory cost. Any unplay effects on Digimon play with this effect do not activate, so you can't, you can't, you can't combo it with unplay effects. But that's still pretty good. You can basically, bring, as I said, you can basically bring Wizardman back, uh, and then have some extra retaliation. Or the Devimon that is a blocker. That that's also really good. Like generally, bloggers with retaliate. Oh wait, does that one have retaliate? No, no, it doesn't. It's just that my boyfriend, when he plays that deck, he likes to give it retaliate with a different effect, uh, which is really annoying. Still don't know what's up with the Capitanimon, we need to figure that out. Peldramon, that's new. Um, when digivolving, if it can also be evolved from the same one, as you can see here. Um, when digivolving, if Digimon card with free in its trait is in this Digimon's evolution, unsuspend this Digimon. Cool, so you can attack with Stingmon, evolve it, then attack again. Uh, Peldramon, while this Digimon uh, inherited, while this Digimon has Imperiodramon in its name, it can't be blocked. So it can make uh, Imperiodramon unblockable. That is, uh, that's a little bit nasty. <laughs> and with that, you're now to the, we're down to the last one. I don't know if there's a new 
card in this one, might not be. But um, here we have a um, lot of cards we've already seen. A few cards we've already seen, Quagman and no. So, for, for the good of it, we got Venom Eosman, we got um, Walk Rayman, Messidron, the Secret Rat, we got Milka Roman, Angel Woman, Alternative Gomaman, <laughs> um, Imperial Man, Dragon Mode, Diablo Man, and Alternative Man, Captain Man. So that is all our high res. That, that is uh, our haul for today, and I feel like that's a really cool haul. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be doing one of these every time a new booster set comes out, at least for now. Um, um, I'm gonna figure out what of this is gonna end up in my cube and whatnot. But um, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And that, I guess I'll be spawning out. Bye!